What's good YouTube? We're gonna be breaking down another liquid spiral effect today, so let's get right into it. So first off, roto brush your subject out. Um, I already went and did that here. Just ignore the fact that I pre-composed these layers. Now that you have your subject roto brush it out on this background layer, we're gonna go ahead and add on an effect called turbulent displace you've probably worked with it before so on this first frame on the background layer i'm going to set a keyframe for amount and size and i'm going to crank up the amount to something really high and bring down the size to something really low so that you have these really small little bubbles around your subject sort of halfway through your clip here we're going to increase only the size until you start to see these black rips through the background layer and then go ahead and lower the amount just a little bit until you get rid of those easy easier keyframes and you're going to have the beginning of the explosion that looks something like this so it's a really sporadic kind of boom right when you press play and then on the last frame we're going to go ahead and bring the size back to a hundred and the amount back to zero so you have something that looks like this and you can play with these keyframes as much as you want. Just make sure that you easy ease your keyframes. If you don't easy ease your keyframe, you'll have at least a few months of bad luck because I'm gonna find you and break both of your kneecaps. And next, we're gonna add on Sapphire Distort, which is a Sapphire plugin. Go ahead and drag that on there. Keyframe the amount and blur lens at the beginning. Go ahead and bring the blur lens pretty low so that you give this really watery effect to it. And then near the end of the clip, bring the amount back down to zero and bring the blur lens up as well. Now you have something like this and already we have this pretty cool watery effect. Next, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this bottom layer. And then next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is add on this effect called Warp Vortex. This is a Sapphire plugin. And if you don't have Sapphire plugins, if you don't have Warp Vortex, go ahead and add on an effect called Twirl. And to understand the mechanics of that effect, go ahead and watch this tutorial right here. I'll put the link up on the screen. This is a similar effect just done with a different method but if you want to use those built-in effects go ahead and watch that so i'm going to set a keyframe for zero for vortex start right around here and then somewhere around the end of the effect i'm just going to bring it up a good amount and once you easy ease your keyframes you're going to have something that looks like this now of course you can mess with the center as well make sure that it's directly behind him the whole time just by setting a keyframe from this value and then move that and position that however you need to and that's definitely going to make it look a lot better and then you can go ahead and pre-compose both of those bottom layers and then add on another sapphire distort on that bottom layer and i forgot to mention if you don't have sapphire distort you can use cc blobble eyes and i also have a lot of other tutorials explaining how to use that make sure to check out all my other tutorials it's a pretty common effect that i'm a really big fan of but right around here set a keyframe for amount at zero right there as it goes out increase that amount decrease the blur lens to give it another watery kind of feel to it and another effect that i like to add on is called uni heatwave this is a universe plugin so before the vortex comes in i'm going to leave the heat intensity on zero and the blur amount on zero and then as it comes out more just increase the heat intensity a whole bunch and bring up that blur so it's going to give a really nice heat texture to it making it a lot more wobbly and so that it's just not this kind of really boring looking spiral circle thingy and to go ahead and spice things up i'm going to go ahead and add on this gold electrified liquid effect before it looks like this and then once i add it into my clip it looks something like this and i have a free sample of an overlay that's very similar to this in the description make sure to snag that this is from my editing pack it's called the shockwave distortion pack got 70 plus overlays just like this and it adds a lot of really cool sauce make sure to check that out at jmovieffects.com and the last thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is pre-compose all of these layers and add on a Lumetri color so that I can bring all of the colors together and help it all blend much better. So increase the contrast, shadows, and play with anything you'd like and add on some glows, maybe like a sapphire glow or a deep glow. For this one, I like sapphire glow better. Finally, add on some RSMB to add some natural blur and you're going to have something that looks like this. And if you do like trippy stuff like this, make sure to check it out at my website at jamorevfx.com. I spend tons of time editing these videos 
videos, literally months preparing products for you guys. Make sure to comment on what you want me to do in the future and like and subscribe so that I can do more stuff like this for you guys. And if you guys do support the channel or buy my packs, it only means that I make more tutorials and spend more time making your workflow better. And don't forget to join my Discord, link in the description. It's a very positive editing community and everybody's there to help you if you have any questions and you're free to connect with different directors, editors, producers, and all sorts of different creators. And in my Discord, we have a little self-improvement segment. So if you want to get around a bunch of guys to help hold you to your habits and hold you to high standards, like going to the gym or making more money or just doing better with editing in general, make sure to check out that Discord and join and we'd be happy to have you. So I really appreciate you guys. God bless you and peace.